Um, I want to ask you, Susan, why is detail so important on the festival stage? Because you've got audience sitting very close, audience sitting further away. And even in opera, people have said, oh, you won't see that. But I say, in a set where you're in a huge theatre, huge set, you let an inch go here and then you let another inch go there and a couple more here. Oh, that won't matter. You won't see that. But after a while, you've lost a foot. A foot is a lot. The other thing that's important is where do you, where do you s s stop compromising? Where do you say, no, I want it to look exactly like that? The audience may not see it, but that's how I see it as part of this jigsaw puzzle we're creating visually. So everything adds up. It goes back to the painting image. You can't change a colour in one corner of a painting without it affecting throughout the whole painting. You have to keep thinking of the whole and the balance of the whole. No, James Joyce has that wonderful image saying, you know, any piece of art is like a painting. And in yes. every part of the painting, it relates, resonates, harmonies or disharmonies with every other part. Yes. And if they all start to have a rhythm within themselves, yes. sometimes the rhythm which finally emerges is beyond anything that was intended. Yes. And that's the power and the magic, which is it what is. we're all looking for. And it's magic. Magic doesn't he? Oh, in a funny way. I mean, I never mentored with him in the true sense, but he was almost my hero, but he says magic. He doesn't like his costumes or set pieces on display in, ex in an exhibit under ordinary daylight or exhibition lighting. Again, it goes back to Michael and as lighting designer, Michael helps to bring the magic, especially with Desmond, who's a very painterly designer. Right. And I watched him in awe, how he creates costumes with different textures, things you don't, you can't imagine. 